Hi guys, welcome to Cloud Tech. In this video, I'm going to show you how to rotate the elements of an array towards the left by n times. Let us consider this as an input array where I have the elements like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I have declared n as 3 because I'm going to rotate this array three times. So in, when I rotate the array for the first time, the elements of this array will be shifted towards left by one position. In the next iteration, again, it will be rotated and the elements of array will be shifted by one more position. And in the next iteration, that is our third time, the elements of this array will be shifted one more time. And this will be my resultant array because I'm going to iterate it or rotate it for three times. To achieve this, uh, let me start writing the code. Okay, so we have, I have declared a class, rotate array elements to the left by n times. And inside that, I have written a main method, which is going to be starting point for my program execution. Now, let me declare a variable, which is going to store my input array. So integer array is equal to new integer array. And this array will be initialized with the values which are there inside input array. So one, two, three, four, five is going to be my input array. Let me declare one more variable, which is going to store the number of iterations. So here I have to iterate or rotate the array by three times. So I have declared n as three. Now let me uh, try to rotate the given array by n times, that is three times. So I will write a for loop for integer i is equal to zero. I should be less than n i plus plus. Okay, I'm going to iterate over this array three times because I have declared n as a three for integer i is equal to zero. I should be less than n i plus plus. Okay. Now what I will do, I will simply try to rotate the elements of the array one by one. Okay, before that, what I will do, uh, the first element I will store it into one of the variable because I cannot shift that first element to the left. I need to move it to the last. So what I will do, I will simply store that first element into one of the variables. So integer first equal to array of zero. And I will declare one more variable which will be required to iterate over the actual array. Okay. So I'll write a for loop uh, and try to iterate over the array and shift the elements. So integer uh, j is equal to zero. J should be less than array dot length minus one and j plus plus. And in this for loop, I'm simply uh, going to iterate over the array and shift the array elements towards the left. So array of j plus one should become array of j. So it should be shifted towards the left. Okay, so array of j equal to array of j plus one. And now at the end, what I will do, I will try to shift this element, uh, the first element of the array towards the end. So array of j will be holding my first element. Okay, so this loop will continue and run for three times because this uh, condition, I should be less than, and this n is three. That is the reason it is going to execute for three times. So it will shift the elements of the array for three times. Now I will have a resultant array. So what I will do, I will simply try to print the elements of the resultant array. So for integer i is equal to zero, I should be less than array dot length and i plus plus. And in this for loop, I'm simply trying to print the elements which are there inside array after rotation. So array of i and I'll simply give a space which will give a better output on console. And let me run this program. So if you see, uh, I'm getting four, five, one, two, three, which is nothing but the expected output. That's all from this video. If you like this video, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you. Bye bye.